Wouldn't it be amazing if Google could understand that the words that you use when you're doing a search, well, they aren't just words. They refer to real things in the world. That a building is a building, and an animal is an animal, and that they're not just random strings of characters. If we can understand that those words are talking about those real world things, then we could do a better job of getting you just the content that you want off the web. The way Google is trying to build information about real world connections is by building a knowledge graph. The knowledge graph is about collecting information about objects in the real world. The object could be a person, could be a book, could be a movie, and many other types of things. For example, for a famous person, we collect relevant data about them, such as their date of birth or how tall they are. We can also connect that person to closely related objects in the knowledge graph. Let's say you're interested in Renaissance painters, or how about how many women have won the Nobel Prize? By understanding the relationships between things, be it between painters in the Renaissance or women in the Nobel Prize, Google can do a better job of understanding what it is exactly you're searching for. One of the first features we are going to introduce, which applies the knowledge graph, is a panel next to the web results. When you have a question to answer, others may have come to Google already to search for the same thing. Google can jumpstart your research process by combining the information that others found useful with the information in the knowledge graph. All of the collective human wisdom that comes through our search engine, what people are searching for, tells us what are the interesting things to put in our database. Take Leonardo da Vinci. Let's say you wanted to learn about the most important Renaissance painters. You might search for Leonardo da Vinci because he's the only Renaissance painter you know about. Now, you'll see information right in the search results that helps you explore the broader topic of Renaissance painters. You'll see some of the most famous paintings from that era, like the Mona Lisa, and discover other painters of that time, like Michelangelo and Raphael. We're in the early phases of moving from being an information engine to becoming a knowledge engine, and these enhancements are one step in that direction. As we grow the knowledge graph and make it larger and richer, we're really excited at the opportunity we have to understand more of the user's queries, to understand more about the information that's out there on the web, and intelligently connect the two to each other.